Golly, this thing is fast. John here, guys, and today we're talking about this little Express LRS all-in-one board. That's right, this is the Uzi. I forgot which kit this is, but I threw out the board that it came with because it has garbage SPI receiver on board, and I'm using this Express LRS all-in-one instead. I've been real excited for this because if I can get a connection that's really nice and strong with low latency to be able to whoop tacular with Express LRS, Sucker. This is the version made by Happy Model. It is a plug and play 1S Woo board and it has both a video transmitter integrated in there, a camera plug input integrated in there, and most notably, the tiny little ceramic Express LRS antenna integrated in there. This is a true all-in-one flight controller, electronic speed controller, video transmitter, receiver, everything. There is no soldering required to build up one of these, and build up one of these I have. Do you know how easy this is for me? Do you have any fucking idea how easy this is? This is a fucking joke. And this is the Uzi 80 uh, DIY build it yourself whoop kit. This is basically like a super whoop. If you took a whoop, took the plastic frame off of it, put a carbon fiber frame on it and removed the ducts, you would get uh, my original thoughts would have been you get increased flight performance, increased speed, maybe a little bit of extra weight, but it would probably handle a bit better and you would probably break the props instantly. That's what I would have thought. Now, in reality, after flying this, uh, the first two were actually pretty true. You got increased weight, just barely, but not enough to really negatively impact performance. You get a lot of speed and control here. Um, sometimes when you get a whoop that's too fast, you can't control it. And part of that is because of the ducks. You don't have the same full control as you do an open air quad. By opening it up and removing that turbulence that you get from the ducks, now you can go pretty fast on this thing. You could probably take this outside, um, not on a windy day because it is very, very light. Now, in order to offset the weight, they've really given you a very small canopy that holds this camera up here. Um, pretty nicely. Uh, this is one of those micro cameras. It's the Cadex Ant. It's the Runcam Nano 3. And this thing performs really exceptional on these URUAV 0802 19,000 kV motors. Now what they've done to offset some of that weight in order to get the props to spin super fast is they've given you a set of bi-blades. Now what I thought was gonna happen was at first crash, these props were going to crack and get destroyed, but they have not. The props that come on this are actually pretty damn tough. I've crashed the heck out of this thing, having a ton of fun blasting around the house and the props have not cracked at all. So very impressive uh, by blade prop. I would probably start buying these up for any of my whoops because they really perform very nice. A lot of control. The Express LRS board that's integrated on here gives you a super ultra low latency control without an antenna hanging off. You know, one of my most favorite things that I used to like to do was install a crossfire receiver on one of these whoops. Now, for a long time, I thought that was pointless. It's so expensive. Why add $30 to an $85 tiny drone? And then you have a giant antenna hanging off of it. But once I actually flew crossfire on a whoop, I was like, oh my gosh, I actually can feel the latency. So much more confident, so much more control, so much more ability to navigate those tiny little spaces like through the legs of a chair throughout your house. And this really gives it to you. It gives you that high confidence, low latency control link in your board without having to actually spend extra because it's already on the board, without having to actually install extra, without having an antenna fitting, you know, flying off the side of it, looking like you know a comet's tail as you're flying around the house. No. Don't have a wedding dress train of an antenna hanging off of your whoop that's you know three times longer than the craft itself. The antenna is in there. Man, what a magical combination. So you can get the Uzi 80 uh, all-in-one kit, but it does not come with this system. It comes with the exact same board, but it only has the SPI receiver on there, which 
you know, it's okay for 80, 85 bucks, you get us a DIY kit, you can build your own drone and it requires no soldering. It actually even comes with a tiny little screwdriver you need to install the motors and the camera. So that is a pretty good kit, but if you wanted to assemble your own kit, get your own frame, get your own set of motors, get your own camera, and then just get this Express LRS UR UAV all in one board, then you can have the best of both worlds. It's probably gonna cost you a little bit more to do that, but it's a lot cheaper than adding a $30 Crossfire receiver, a lot smaller, a lot more convenient, and man, this thing has a lot of control. Now compared to your standard Whoop, you can install this board on any whoop really and then you have the control system you want for this particular formula it's still a little fast for inside the house you know if you're a super experienced indoor whooper like me um i could probably get away with it but if the wife was home and awake and she heard me bang into the walls with the kind of speed that this thing can generate you're probably going to get yelled at guys all right i'm not saying you know you bang into the walls uh at 30 miles an hour in something bigger like this you're probably sleeping on the couch or maybe in the car this one you're going to get griped at but you know at least you can still sleep in bed all right so that's the difference between these two things. What do you think in the comments, guys? Are you doing Express LRS? If so, have you moved that same technology to your Whoop and in ultra small micro crafts yet? I'm really loving the system. I'm using it on my racers. I'm using it on my four inch, my three inch. Pretty much any new build that I'm getting is going to Express LRS except for five inch freestyle or long range, uh, which I am still staying with Crossfire. So really, really cool board option there. Let me know what you guys are flying. Are you still in that SPI garbage? Are you doing Crossfire? Are you on Express LRS for whoops? Have you tried the all-in-one board? What are you guys doing? Thanks, guys.